welcome by EA's Art Channel. My name is Ilkian Wiersma and today I'd like to show you how I set up my studio. And it is uh, officially in a bedroom but we turned it into a uh, art studio. And uh, I thought it would be nice to uh, show you guys how I did it and uh, what uh, uh, kind of materials and uh, stuff I use. So uh, therefore please be welcome at my art studio tour. And even though I have quite a big room, I always end up having not enough space. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, this is uh, my art room and uh, my art studio, and I'm really happy with it because I uh, basically have everything uh, what I need in here. And like I said, sometimes I use a little, if I need a, a bit more space uh, to work, for example, on uh, framing my uh, paintings that I will do in the in the garage. But most of the things I uh, can do here. So. Uh, I'm pretty happy that I have uh, a space like this and uh, it's really nice working this room and uh, yeah it's just uh, so nice to have everything around you when you are starting a project or need something I, uh, I can find it uh, quite easily here and this is a, a big uh, closet and, and there I store basically all my materials that I use so uh, uh, I will uh, suggest uh, to take a, a look and uh, I'd like to start with the frames. I talked about this uh, in my wolves tutorial and uh, I like to store my uh, frames here. I came across these frames uh, on the secondhand uh, shops and um, yeah for uh, when I need them I have a few uh, options here. Uh, and these are my oil paint brushes. I store my oil paint supplies uh, here and my acrylic paints and uh, brushes in this section of the closet and we have in this area where i live a um, a um, book of uh, the artists uh, who live here in this neighborhood and i'm also in there so i'm uh, kind of proud of that this is me <laughs> for the first time in uh, this uh, this um, book about uh, artists uh, here in these, uh, this area where we live in the Netherlands, so uh, that's kind of nice. And on this um, section I have my most of the, my inks and some airbrush supplies. And some decoration for the room, I like uh, animals if you uh, didn't know that yet. <laughs> and here are uh, some of my canvases. And I like to have a uh, quite yeah a few options if I uh, want to paint. Uh, for example, in the evening, I like to have the ability to start a painting right away. So I have a uh, few different sizes of canvases and another closet. And here I have uh, the furnishes I use and the mediums for in the, for mixing in with my paints and all that kind of stuff. Some uh, new brushes. I store here, I like to have some options there. These are my favorite brushes I like to use. So, uh, and uh, my paper, on the left hand side my pastel papers, and on the right, ha right hand my watercolor papers, and uh, a few acrylic paints, some gold and um, silver colors I never used before, but I will do a project uh, with them uh, eventually. And some other stuff, some uh, portfolio maps, and some materials for my daylight lens and yeah that kind of stuff and some uh, things for my airbrush were underneath there and now we have a uh, peek at the view I have from the studio and I'm really happy because I love nature and yes this uh, view is uh, fitting me uh, very well of course and the horses are now uh, inside but uh, they uh, Sometimes they will walk uh, in front of the house, so it's uh, very nice to uh, look uh, um, at them and uh, yeah, it's a nice view. This is where I store my airbrush supplies, another um, part of so where I have air airbrush supplies, especially the paints, so of some brand of paints, and a stencil for making circles, and here is my mask, what I, what I use for the airbrush and some other uh, materials. This is the airbrush itself. It's a very nice airbrush. I like to think that it is the Aerotech airbrush, but I will, uh, will look into that and I will uh, have a link in the description. My main easel again. And this is how it looks while I'm painting. You can see I have a big screen on the left hand side and so I can zoom in quite easily for um, noticing the details are uh, 
to show uh, to um, yeah to watch how the feathers are going with direction and uh, especially the different shapes in there so I'm uh, really happy with that uh, big screen I have and therefore I use a wireless mouse so I can zoom in uh, very easily and of course you see my camera here for the tutorials and now we go to my second easel my table easel and I have another screen on there as well so I can work on two projects if I like to most of the times I'm working on one project at a time oh here is my uh, uh, my tripod for the camera I was looking for the words <laughs> and I have uh, some supplies here this is a color chart I sometimes use it uh, using it uh, it's a transparent one so you can uh, see how it will look when you ha use a color for a, a layer you can use that color chart hair dryer for drying uh, speed up the drying time for example for the ink things or watercolors and some other art supplies I uh, collect here so I can uh, grab them uh, quite easily these are my pastels I have a lot of pastels and I have them arranged in colors so therefore I use these little uh, containers to you I have them separately these are is are my pens the full set of the pen pastels I'm really really liking the pen pastels they are so great to work with so I have that uh, stored in here my pastel pencils applicators and I have another um, storage box for my uh, pastel pencils I really like that it's a very big one it takes about 120 pencils normally I have my ink things in there but I was working on a project so I have them in another room but for uh, have the uh, ability to film and to uh, uh, can sh uh, to show you how it's uh, how my art studio look when I uh, have everything uh, well ordered <laughs> So, uh, and this is uh, quite a big table. I can use it for uh, when I furnish my paintings or when I'm framing my drawings. I have some space over here. This is a, a IKEA. Yeah, how do you call it? It's on wheels and I can store my paint in it. And um, uh, this is how it looks basically when I'm working on this easel. I can store my uh, colors on the uh, table and next to my uh, my uh, project so it is very handy i have i can uh, really get quick my colors and i don't have to uh, look for them for uh, to search for them uh, a lot i have them uh, very uh, nice displayed next to the project so that's very very uh, easily uh, to work with and um, yeah, all the other things, the applicators are also around me. The electric sharpeners are there. With the, you see that with the uh, with the head rider, I have two electric sharpeners. I really like to use, so I have everything uh, in place, and I can grab it uh, very quick and easy. So let's continue this uh, tour of my studio. Here is uh, where I do all the editing. This is my computer and I have one of my drawings above my computer. I like to uh, watch this uh, this uh, project, this bird, I should say. This uh, is very special for me. And um, this is my owl drawing on my mouse map. I really liked it as well. And yeah, I have uh, all the uh, supplies, what I use for uh, um, get a voiceovers in the, in the tutorials and that kind of stuff and here is my printer where I do uh, print my own prints and postcards and so uh, another few little closets where I can use uh, some other art supplies I really like this wooden closet this takes a lot of uh, teeny tiny uh, materials uh, all, all kind of stuff I uh, have stored in here and underneath that I have another section with uh, with airbrush paint this is the Createx paint I really like this paint as well I have two um, different brands I like to use and um, they don't fit in that uh, one closet underneath my big screen so I have it uh, that's the only thing of the airbrush I have in different sections the rest of uh, is uh, mostly uh, stored uh, at one place and this room is the only room in the house with who has a sink uh, in it so I'm very happy it's uh, very in uh, helpful when I'm um, cleaning my uh, brushes for example this is my little wall of fame with the uh, Lockery of Fine Art uh, postcards I get every every month because I uh, support her on uh, Patreon she's a uh, my, my biggest inspiration 
on here uh, here on YouTube and uh, and on Patreon Patreon of course. So this is uh, basically the room I uh, I work in. I uh, spend a lot of hours on different projects. So thank you for watching. I hope you like this uh, art studio tour. I personally like to see uh, other uh, art studios, and uh, sometimes I came, uh, I see some ideas, and I uh, like to uh, use them uh, for my own art studio. So therefore, I hope you liked it. Maybe you saw something useful. If you have any questions about things you saw, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you like, uh, you can uh, also uh, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and my own website. If you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this tutorial and my other tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. I would really like that. And thank you for watching uh, once again. And I hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye bye.